Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to a Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to connect elements in Cinema 4D with a spline just like this. So we have a bunch of these shapes, they're, they're inside a cloner object and they're all linked together or connected together using this white spline shape and it appears um, procedurally as the new uh, shapes pop into the frame. So let's take a look at how we built this. I'm gonna go to my timeline, first of all, wipe out any keyframes I have. Let's remove all of this stuff. And all we are left with is this cloner object. And it's set to the radial mode and it has 50 clones. And uh, we just need to animate its radius and its count. I thought I would have a little fun with this, as you may have already picked up. These are indeed the colors of the rainbow. Uh, so that will be Richard of York gave battle in vain. Or Roy G. Bev. Um, those are the only two... Ah, uh, damn, I forgot what that thing is called. Um, abbreviations, that's the one. I guess the first one is not an abbreviation. Um, Okay, let's get along with the tutorial. Okay, so let's uh, go to frame zero. Let's set the count to zero. Uh, in fact, let's set it to one. Nope, yep, one. And let's set the radius to 10. So really small. And let's keyframe this by holding control and clicking the little circle next to those words. Let's move forward to frame 90, which is three seconds in my animation. Put the count up to 50 and the radius up to, let's say, 300. And again, hold control and click those yellow circles until they are red and we have set a new keyframe. So we have this animation. You can see it's very jagged and doesn't look very nice at all. Uh, and these are just two bunched up. So let's go to MoGraph Effector and Random. Let's go to the Effector tab, oh sorry, the Parameter tab. And let's say uh, increase the position to, let's say 200 on the X, 200 on the Y and 500 on the Z. So this is like a lot larger basically. So if we play that through again, we have this going on. Kind of cool, but uh, again, way too jagged. So we need to smooth that animation out. So if we click on the cloner, go to MoGraph Effector and Delay Effector, you want to make sure position, scale, and rotation are ticked in the parameter section. Go to the Effector tab and make sure the blend is set to, the blend is set to mode. The mode is set to blend and uh, put the strength up to 75. Now when we play that, it's gonna be way, way smoother because the blend kind of eases the movement a little bit and uh, uh, changes the interpolation. So we have something which looks a lot nicer. You can increase this to something like 85 and you will get an even smoother result. But um, I think this will work for us. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's um, go ahead now and connect all of these uh, shapes together. So to do this, you need to click on your cloner, go to MoGraph and Tracer. And uh, if you had your cloner clicked as you inserted this, you will see in the trace link, you have your cloner right there. So the tracing mode, we wanna change this from trace pads to connect elements. And now when we hit play, we get this crazy white uh, spline connecting all of our elements together. It runs from the first clone through to the last one. And that's exactly what we want. However, when I hit render, you see that there is no spline linking all of this. We can only see it in the hardware preview. So to fix this, we need to use the sweep nerves object with a circle and then use this together with the tracer 
to generate some geometry for that spline. So if we make the circle, uh, if we give the circle a radius of two, we can get the tracer and the circle, drop them into the sweep nerves with the circle above the tracer. And now we have some actual geometry linking these shapes together. Um, we want to go in here and uh, use this material, just a basic white material with a luminance, um, with the luminance switched on. And now we can see that clearly. And just like that, you now know how to connect elements together in Cinema 4D with a spline. And uh, it's up to you now to go and create something more awesome than this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.